just past seven in the morning, managed to get to this memorial, to a Civil War memorial. At six o'clock at night, I walked an hour and a half in the dark. Um, set my tent up to the left-hand side. Okay, the road's a bit close, but nobody walks through here. And it was nice and quiet. I listened to a couple of owls this morning, very close in the trees behind me. But a good morning. This is the sleeping valley floor with its low cloud at half past seven in the morning. Starting at the monument, they have a succession of these lovely red flags, metal red flags, welcoming you into Bath, which is quite a nice touch, really. Well, we're coming down into something, but it's covered in a lovely blanket of cloud. We're traversing around, uh, I suppose, the last hill before we get to Bath. The funny thing is, with all the low cloud today, it's pretty unlikely we'll get any views other than beautiful views of low cloud running through a valley. But I camped about five, six miles out of Bath at the end of day four. Um, which then meant I could get a short walk into Bath, see a few things, and get the train home in a reasonable time. Um, I pushed a lot on the fourth day, probably more than I should have done, but it meant that I had a short fifth day. Well into Bath now, coming through the mist around this church and not much further and it'll be over. I like to take you on some zigzags through the town. So up Church Road. They take you through the town and then up out the back on something they call the Bath Marches, I think. So, you go into the town, zigzag a bit, go up quite a steep incline, hence my breathing, and then they take you across this field and presumably you'll go back down into Bath in a few moments. Aha, allotments. So they take you up the back of the bath and bring you back down again. You can see quite a bit of bath. But allotments, these have got a lot more in them. I think I understand why they take you the route they do so that you can go through the Royal Victoria Park and other parks and actually come in on quite a nice entrance into Bath. Definitely Chipping Camden to Bath. I don't think the, uh, the welcome in Chipping Camden is quite so extravagant. This is why they take you through the back of what appears nowhere to get you through Victoria Park and also to see this very famous set of buildings. Well done to those who 
designed the Cotswold Trail, the end bit in Bath or the beginning bit in Bath. Get to see Bath's good bits. That's it, the walk is all over. We're in far front of Bath Abbey and you walk over this circular disc. That is the official finish. And there is Bath Abbey behind me. And that's it, done. Well, off to get some food and train home. <laughs>